everyone, it's Lisa from 2CreateAWebsite.com and today I'm going to show you how to create a CSS horizontal navigation menu like I have here. Now this is not going to be a CSS tutorial, I'm not going to spend too much time going over the reasons why things are done um, because I just want to make this video hopefully fairly quick. Feel free to go to W3Schools.com or HTMLDog.com to learn the fundamentals because you really should learn the fundamentals of CSS. So the first thing you're going to do is open up your style sheet and you're going to create a new ID. An ID is always represented by the pound sign in CSS. So you can name your menu whatever you want to name it. And oh, also I want to let you guys know I'm going to be providing this code for you. So just go to the link on the screen and you'll be able to download all this code and just edit accordingly for your site. So enjoy. So we're going to give our ID a name. I named my menu. You can call it whatever you want. Background, this D22929 is this red color that you see behind the menu. I'm floating it to the left. List style, none. Because we're going to be using the list item tag, which is like the bullet tag in HTML, we don't want the bullets to be displayed. So that's why you say list style, none. And then margin zero, padding zero. That's because we want the list itself or the menu itself to be bumped up against the corner of the container. I don't want any kind of margin or spacing. I want it to be the very top corner of the site. And then the width is 100%. That's why this red bar extends all the way to the end, even though my link ends right here. Now, the list item tag. Remember I mentioned that we're using the list item. So now we're gonna style the list item. So we're gonna float it to the left. Again, I want everything floated to the left. Font size, 10 pixels, font family, margin 0, 0.35, 0, 0. That's your top, right, bottom, and left margins. Notice the only margin you're using is the right. That's the spacing between each list item. So if you want to increase the spacing between your links, you just up this number here. And then your padding is 0. Now, menu A. What is that? That's the actual links themselves. The background, keeping it the same, we still want, the, still want it to be red. Font size, 1.1 EM. What the heck is an EM? I purposely used pixels here and EMs here to show you guys an example of, for, for what this is. You really ought to get into the habit of using EMs because everyone has default browser font sizes. Let's say someone has trouble seeing and they have their browser set to a very large font and you say font size eight pixels. Well, that may be difficult for them to see, but if you use the EM tag, that basically says, use whatever default font they're using and either increase it a little bit or decrease it a little bit. So if I use one EM, that says, use whatever default size they're using, okay? So if they're using a small size, it's gonna show up small. If they're using a large size, it's gonna show up large. So if I have 1.1 EM, that says, take their default font size and increase it by 10%. Or if I use two EMs, that means increase their default size by 2% or 200%. Now, the downside to this is that you don't know what your font's going to look like on every computer, but the advantage is you don't have someone who's having a hard time seeing, and if you've got eight pixels and they can barely see that, then they may have trouble reading your site. So if you use the EMs, it goes off of their default font size that they're using on their computer, okay? So the color, FFF, that's the white, the color of the links, display block, floating left again, margin zero, and then the padding. This padding is the actual area around each link. If I had the padding set to zero here, then this red bar, would be very skinny and all the links would be scrunched up and over here to the left side. So this padding is what gives the bar, the red bar, some height and some spacing around each link. And then text decoration, none, because I didn't want any underlines or anything here. And now the hover effect, which is always cool. The background is D29C1A, that's the gold that you see when I hover. And then the color of the links is white, okay? So if I wanted this link to be black when you hover, then I would change this to 000, okay? So now that your CSS is done, you're ready to paste the code or use or, or add the code, sorry, for your HTML file. So, and that's what this code is here. Let's move it up so you can see it. 
So all you do, because we're using the list item or the bullet tag in HTML, all you do is create a list item or a series of list items. So you start off with UL. Normally with HTML, you would just have a UL tag like that. But because we want to style the UL and we want to apply the menu style that we just created, we're going to use UL ID equals menu because that's what we named it. And then you just do LI and then you do your href for your links and then you close it. And then you close your UL at the bottom. And that's all you do. Your menu is ready to go. And what I also did, I created two menus. Here's another menu below. Same code for this menu here. The only difference is, is I gave it some positioning. So let me open up my Dreamweaver file just to show you guys. Notice I have menu two and here's the position. It's positioned absolutely zero pixels from the bottom of the header and zero pixels from the left. Zero pixels from the bottom. Here's the bottom of the header and then zero pixels from the left. So if I wanted this menu to appear in the middle right here, I would have said something like a um, hundred pixels from the bottom and zero pixels from the left. Now, in order for the position absolute feature to work, you have to make sure that your parent container is positioned relative. My header had to be relative, otherwise that won't work. So I just wanted to show you guys that you could also use the same menu in other areas of your site or other areas of your container. You just may want to use the position element. So hopefully guys, you learned something from this tutorial. Don't forget to download the code and play with it. And I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.